recording? All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, today is Daflamid, Sechas Beitza. I think it's only like uh, more than three quarters through. Yeah, Lamites or none. Yeah, all right, man. Oh, yeah, man. All right. So um, we got to so begin the new parak, fourth parak. So how maybe kada yayim imakol imakol one is bringing yantif within the tchum. After an erev, right? So he shouldn't bring uh, one play levium besal of kupa, right? To do three or four at a time, let's say in a basket and carry it, because that's the way that's done. Uda the chol, that's nice of the chol to carry in such a way. Well, maybe who Akseva, or we may perhaps put on the shoulder a little more unusual way, one or two, which shows that it's being used today. It's not for you know uh, multi, you know, uh, you know, uh, for for commerce or the fun of. Or in front of him, also that wasn't as common, you know, for for you know, commerce. You say you know, carry much more at a time, so you shouldn't carry it away in a manner that's carried during the week when they're carrying multiple when it's not for immediate usage. Right? If you're gonna use it uh, on yantif, so you carry your wine in a way in front of you or on your shoulder, like it's uh, more obvious that it's just gonna be used today. Yes, is a tevin. So too, one is uh, taking straw. You should go ahead and once again put a basket behind or a huge bundle behind it because that proves or that's the way that's done during the week that it wasn't done for immediate usage. Uh, rather, you should bring his hand. So that's one case. Now, halacha number two. One is allowed to go ahead and begin use from a, um, a stack of straw. Right to go ahead and use it, say on yantif, right for for his fire, but not wood that's in the muksa. Muksa is uh, over here a reference to a place, basically like your back barn, which is usually never used uh, back area. So uh, an uncommon that's area, you can't go ahead and and, and uh, take something out of storage. I guess the wood from that area. Now, zuck the gemara. So let's see top line or second line on the lama of aleph. Tatana imi yevshalishanos mutter. If you can't carry this uh, uh, any other way, then it's mutter to go ahead and uh, you know carry it in the in, in, you know in your normal way. And asking Rav Mechuza, so Rav said you may want to make a halacha decree in Mechuza, the dara beduchka, the dara beragla. Right, one who go, normally goes ahead and carries it. So let's say um, you know, uh, I guess he, he carries it you know up on his shoulder, right? Heavily carry it in a different manner, carry it with, with, say with the pitchfork, right? Um, uh, the Darabaragla, Darabaragla. He normally carries. He goes ahead and he has it like with a pitchfork, the Darabaragla. Right. Then go ahead and have it with a with, with a pole. Right. Carry it a different manner. Right. The Darabaragla. Uh, then the Darabaachba. Right. Then if if you usually use a pole, let's say two people carrying a pole, so carry one person carrying a pole, a smaller pole. Right. Uh, and let's say he normally carries with a small pole, so how can you go ahead and do some, some sort of shino? So put some sort of, you know, sudar, some sort of a handkerchief or something on top of it uh, that will show that it's just, you know, some sort of difference. Right? But however, if you can't go ahead and carry it in a different manner, then it's still permiss- permissible to carry it in such a way because you have no other way to change it. So basically they're saying that you have to make a shino right. Otherwise, it's within the fall. But but she knew that mekuba yeah. the routine, not something that right. exception. But uh, a shinui that is common in that place. Right. So Amrle Rav Chanan Bar Rav Lo Rav Ashi. So Amir Rabban Kamli Yafshel the Shinui. I shouldn't be yantif. Whenever it's possible to go ahead and do a shinui to do it, do something differently. So we do that. Right, in order that it appears that we're not doing it normally, uh, treating uh, the the yantaf like a weekday. I have a honey. Now she to come. I'll in the chazza. My be yantava. Like a shim. A veloy ka. Mishanina. Veloy ka. Mishani. Mishanayan. But I mean, look. Velohu. Let me. I have these women to go out and fill their their pitchers of water, but they don't do any sort of shino. They carry back the water in the normal routine, and uh, you you don't say boo to them. Right, and then no one says something. Summer late. We shouldn't do left sharp because really you can't really change the way they carry the water. Why? Hey, Chaliyov, because we're going to do it. Lemal bechasa rabba, tamal bechasa zuta, kamafsha bihilucha. If they, normally they go ahead and they take large pitcher, you know, the the larger buckets, and you want them to take uh, smaller buckets, so they're going to end up doing more trips and actually doing more, you know, more work during the week. 
Demali Bechasa Zuta, Demali Bechasa Rabba. And if normally they do smaller buckets, you want them to take bigger buckets or less trips. So then that's it. Right? Then you're going to go ahead and basically cause them to go ahead and, and have he- heavier lifts. Right. And taxi, uh, if you go ahead and basically put a cover on it, it seemed to if you put, let's say if you want to put a cover on it, so it's different than the week, and you so and then it come falls off, you might go ahead and carry it, right? Uh, and if you want to hit tie it on, so you want to tie the cover on top, so perhaps you want to tie the cover on top, so perhaps it's going to fall off, and you're going to retie it. Then Tifra is too jolly. You want to put, let's say, some sort of you know handkerchief we mentioned earlier to put on it. Zinun the demetami shvemai vasa de schita might fall in the water, and then you come to go and squeeze it out. It's a hilkach lo yavshar, and therefore there's a case of really the woman does not uh, any real uh, case for them to go ahead and change it. And Amar le Rava bar Rav Chanan Labayi Tanan ein metafchin vein maspikin vein merakdin zalocha. Right, it comes down. A person shouldn't go ahead and clap his hands, right, or or bang his thigh, or dance, right, uh, and, and, and Shabbos and Yontif, right, because one it might if one does that, it might uh, one uh, cause one to, to to use a musical instrument, it might cause someone to, to fix a musical instrument. So we don't want that. So refrain from this type of you know in your rhythmic beats and and doing that. But nowadays, I we see people do this. We don't say anything, right? So, what, what, you know, what, what's the big deal, right? In other words, why would you say anything? If that's Allah, shouldn't you be saying something to them? So, I'm related. So, first of all, according to you, so according to you, if people do something, right, and we don't say anything, right? Does that mean it's now it's it, it, that it, that it's right? And I was asked uh, that that's the right. The person trying to go ahead and sit at the end of a lachi. Right. Perhaps a person might be holding something at the end of the eruv or a lachi. Right. The lachi is the sort of the, the, the upright beam, and it might fall out of his hand or whatever it is, and roll into the shusar rabbim. He'll come and carry it back to the shusar rabbim. He'll carry down the shusar rabbim. I, these women, they go over here and they sit at the end, right? They, they sit, um, you know, they take their, their buckets over there, and they, they sit in the, in the front of the mobile. We don't say anything to them, right? So, so what are you going to say there, right? So, Ella, he nachlem Israel, rather leave them, those people, the, the, you know, the women, right? Mutav shu shaking vayim is Eden, right? Better that you don't say anything, that they're shaking, if they don't, they're unaware, then you tell them, and they're still not going to go ahead and change. So, he nachlem Israel, mutav shu shaking vayim is Eden. So, over here in the case of clapping and all that, better to be shaking, not tell them because they're not going to stop, than for do amazing. This is only referring to something which is the abundance, such as this, right? When uh, you know one might go ahead and and and, and uh, you know, uh, um, you know, in this case, you know, fix the musical instrument is only the abundance that you one shouldn't clap, or if that's all right. So that was the original one dance or clap was that reason. But the rice hello, but the rice they should tell. However, that's not true. Really, if, if the person's not going to listen, doesn't make a difference. It's the abundance, even a the rice, then maybe you shouldn't tell them. Why? Right? Uh, the adding it to Yom Kippur because it says on the, in the evening or the day before you also fast. So what do you do? Basically, you add on a little bit of fast on the air of Yom Kippur. You start the fast a couple minutes early. And I said, the Raisa. And people eat and drink up to the minute that it gets dark. And they don't say boo, they don't try and stop them. Why? Because the people aren't going to listen anyway. So you see, even on a Doraisa, that is Mutav, better that they do it, uh, uh, the, 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 better they do it, but Shogay, not to be amazing. Why is it uh, that it says Tisha Beyom that the Passover says? Tisha Beyom, Yom Kippur? Yeah, because yeah, it mentions like uh, you, you're fasting on the night. Eat, they eat on the right, but the Gemara Darshan side, right? But the Gemara Darshan side, the Tisephus. Uh, Yom Kippur is actually deraisa, and that's the Kuliyama. Okay. Fine. You can go ahead and start to, with the bundle of straw on Yantif. You want to go ahead and use it to, to fire up your, your oven. And Amar of Kana You can go ahead and start from an Oitzer, from a storehouse in the beginning. 
So Mani, whose opinion is this? Rabbi Shimon, he must be Rabbi Shimon Delas and Moksa, who, does, who doesn't hold a Moksa, right? He's very lax uh, um, uh, definition of Moksa. And therefore, even though something is normally in storage, it's not Moksa, right? You can go ahead and use it. So says, I aim a Seifa. So let's see, aim a Seifa. So it wasn't designated, right? It was not designated. And therefore, it must be Rabbi Shimon. Right, because it was designated. There's no chiddush there. You're allowed to start something for straw. When it's in the muksa, that's the place for it to be. No, the muksa. No, 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 no. There's two different. Firewood. No, two different cases. There's straw and there's firewood. The ratio said you're allowed to start a bundle of straw, but, but you can't take wood from the muksa. Right. Muksa was an area behind the house that wasn't really used. The right. Storage, yeah. the, the, the area behind the house is normally unused. That's, you know, the wood's been sitting there for, 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 for months. Who knows how long it's been sitting there, right? So you can take from the straw, but you can't take from the wood. So how can you take from the straw? It must be Rabbi Shimon, because all it's not muksa. So what are the seifa? That sounds like it's Rabbi Huda, then it holds it is muksa. So the Gemara answers, no. Over here, we're talking about cedar and other types of expensive wood, right? The muksa machmas chisokis. That this is expensive wood. The reason it's muksa is because he never had it in mind to use this wood for his fuel, for his to heat up his oven before, and therefore this is muksa from before, when, before he understood it because it's something expensive. Muksa machal chisokis. The Afidu Rabbi Shimon Maida, and even Rabbi Shimon would, would agree that this is muksa. Now, Igid Masel say, but some have a different version of the limit of aloy the eight and show muksa. Our Mishnah says you can't go ahead and use the wood that's in the muksa. So Amarav Kahan or Zoy Samaras Ein Maschin Ba'it said Chila. It sounds like you can't go ahead and use anything from storage, right? Uh, uh, you know, begin anything from storage and 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 Yanta. So Mani, whose opinion is this? Rabbi Hudi seems like the opinion of Rabbi Hudi, the Isle Moksa, who holds uh, you know, more of a, 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 a broad uh, a definition of Moksa. So the verse is I am a Rasha. What about the Rasha? Says Maschin Ba'ar Masatav. It says that you're allowed to go ahead and start a straw, which is it's like storage. So also Rabbi Shimon, it sounds like Rabbi Shimon, the last day Moksa, who, who doesn't hold of Moksa, right? Or he has a, you know, a very more a narrow definition. So Hasam Bativna Sarya. Over there, right, we're talking about Tevin, straw that really can't be used to, feed, uh, to, to yeah, I guess, to feed the animals, right? It's gross straw so therefore the usage usually straws two usages to feed the animals or to you know to use it as a fuel source right so if it's gross and you can't feed the animals with it it's a fuel source so if it was uh, basically set to be a fuel source then it was like it was prepared for that purpose for yotif so Gwana says tina sorry hello tina i can use it for for cement and for other Purposes, non yantif related purposes. So it should be moksa. So the answer is no. These bakeites, they're thorns, and therefore, if there's, I guess, there's thorny straw, then that's not even good for cement. Fine. Now, Mishnah. So Mishnah says, Ein neitlin eitzim in asuka, ela mina samuchlo. One does not take wood from a sukkah. Now, this is not a sukkah as we just had the, uh, the holiday of Sukkot, right? As Rashi is quick to point down the beginning, because the Gora will get into that. But you know, yes, we're talking about a hut, right? On Yantif. So imagine a hut on, on Pesach or Shavuos. You can't take wood for that. You know, as you want to take the wood to use it once again to, 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 to light up your, your stove, right? You can't take that wood from because it's part of the roof, right? It would be an issue of stira. Right of of uh, of uh, of of uh, what's it called demolition? Anyanta. Right. So on the roof. Right. Elamina samachla. Right. So you know, even Rashi points out what the hav means. Little Rashi says, "Gion v'zachav b'seres v'yeshiv b'suka begino b'paradis." He says, "Ain't no yezim b'suka elamina samachla." Only that which is closer in hash to mashma imu av shenosen kanim harbe mutu l'tomehem. Right. So he says, "No, you can't take from the roof." Elamina Samachal, which is close to it. And I was part of the roof. It's, you know, there's a lot of water on the roof. You can take off some of the roof, right? That's what the Havamina is, right? And Gemara says, so Maishna, so let's see the Gemara. So Maishna, Mina Sukkah, Delo. What's the reason why you can't take off from this hut, right? You're you're taking off from, from the roof of the, of the, from, from, from the hut, like, right? To cause Sasser Allah, because he's being a Sasser in Ohel, right? He's, he's uh, demolishing. He's doing, he's demoing, uh, what's it called? Uh, a hut, which is Malacha. 
So Ola Azamina Samachla Nami Kasasir Ola. I so even this part of the roof or something which is you know sort of also thrown on the roof, it's also part of steer. So what's the difference? What's the what's the part you could take? What's the part you can? It's very unclear. So Rabbi Yudam Shmuel, my Samach was means Samach of Defanos. It means on Defanos. It means those that are basically resting up against the walls. It's not part of the roof. Rather, a part of those you know those twigs that are, are wood that's next to the wall. Those can be taken and used on Yantz. The defanos, even if it's not part of the walls, it's more part of the roof. So uh basuraisa. Right, we're talking about bundles that have not been untied. If the bundles have not been untied, then it proves that it's not really, to, it's not the really the roof because it's still tied up in bundles. It showed that it's only temporary place up there. So therefore, by taking that down, it's not a, 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 an issue of malacha of stira, and therefore you can go ahead and take it down. Fine. It says you can't go ahead and take the wood only with Samachla. Rabbi Shimon Matir, right? Over here it says Rabbi Shimon Matir. The Shavin Besuka, and they both agree, Besuka Sachag, that they Sukkah during the holiday of of Sukkah, Bechag, right? Shasura, that it's Osir, Bim Hisna Leah. If it makes a condition that, hey, I'm going to use it at a certain point in time during the holiday, then you're allowed to go ahead and make this condition. So now we're, we're going to go through this bride. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, so first of all, this is we are showing matter. So first we said, ain't no in a sukkah, and Rabbi says mutter. I've so how could Rabbi Shimon say mutter go ahead and basically remove eights from a from an ohel, right? I doing steer. Some Rav Nachman Yitzchak, a sukkah no fellas. We're talking about a sukkah that has fallen down, right? Rabbi Shimon Latami, Rabbi Shimon does what she does. So the last lay muksa, right? And now he does not hold of uh, 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 of muksa. Set aside the time of the rabbisa. Meiser Hashem and Shemaner, we should call her Usher. The leftover wine, if, if the candle went out, any leftover oil, I said wine, I meant oil, any leftover oil, right, from a candle is Usher because, huh? Yeah. So it, why? Because it, that. Oil was set to be lit on Yantif, and the candle went out for whatever reason, and the wick went out. So that oil really was supposed to be burned, but it's left over now. So it's Aser, Rabbi Shun Matir, and Rabbi Shun says Mutter, right? So we see Rabbi Shun holds that if something is left over from its usage, it's Mutter. So it says, Me dummy. Over there, a person's waiting and says, Okay, when did this wick goes out? I can go ahead and use the oil. So over here he's sitting. He, when when's this, my my sukkah going to go ahead and fall down? When's my hut going to fall down? Right. Over here we're talking about a um, a, a, a crooked uh, sukkah walls. The the very uh, flimsy. Right. This hut. Right now, now the sukkah. This hut is, was was built very poorly and it's going to fall any minute. So therefore, in his mind, he's saying, okay, once this thing topples over, I'm going to go ahead and use the wood. To fire up my uh, yantif uh, stove. Fine. So that was the, the first part of the brisa, which talked about a hut. Now the shovin, the sukkas, the sukkas achag, the sukkas achag b'chag shi yasura. So then and they all agree that the uh, the 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 wood from a sukkah during sukkas is aser. However, he he's not le'a kol He makes a condition, then he's not making condition. So the Gemara says, first of all, me mahani about tonight. Who says one is allowed to go ahead and make a condition on something which is used for a mitzvah to use it mid mitzvah? How do we know that the wood of a sukkah is forbidden the entire seven days? As the pasuk says, Chaga sukkah shivas yamim lahashem. It says the Chaga sukkah shivas yamim lahashem. The time of the rabbis are written to say, Ra'im yamim lahashem shek shem shechal shem shemayim al chagiga. Just like you have to go ahead and designate something to be a, your carbon chagiga. So too, it's chal al sukkah, right? It's like kado, it's just like a sukkah. So tamalei mar chag al sukkah, shiva asyamim la Hashem. It's chag al sukkah for seven days, la Hashem, ma chag la Hashem. Just like a chagiga is completely la Hashem. Af sukkah, la Hashem. So to the sukkah, seven days, la Hashem. So it can't work. Really, a tonight shouldn't work. And Amar Rav and Ashi Berei Derava. So save us on the sukkah diam. Okay, we must be talking about that they agree, right? Um, that the Tanai works in a, in a regular hut. Now it's on a regular hut, right? If a person made a condition, hey, if this falls, I'm going to go ahead and use the wood from this hut to burn my stove mm-hmm. or to, 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 you know, to heat up my, uh, you know, my stove, my oven, that would work, right? 
So if they argue about it, it falls down without a condition. So that was the case for Rabbi Shemat the other ones. But when it comes to a sukkah, everyone agrees all seven days, a sukkah on uh, sukkahs is that wood is usher. And the Gemara says, I'm a sukkah the mitzvah, loy, loy mahani but tonight. I have a sukkah the mitzvah, loy, but you can't make a condition on a sukkah, but tiny, then a brice, a sukkah, kihochasa. If a person makes a sukkah and he puts the, 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 the proper schach on it, and then he puts the vija, the karam, and the sardin, and the suyan, and he hangs up uh, different cloths and tablecloths, right? Um, to to uh, beautify his sukkah, nice sukkah. The talaba goes him, and he also hangs in there nuts and shkedim, right? Then types of nuts and almonds. Um, and efes, uh, um, uh, afar, afar sikim, right? Peaches, rimonim, and pomegranates, particularly an oven and clusters of, uh, of grapes. And yainos, the shmanim, the salatos, bitaros, shibalim, or 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 yeah, or uh, moss. This is moss. So you're the moss. This year, brother. So he said. Um, or if he had wines or oils hanging in flasks or, or, or wreaths of, uh, of grain, right? All of this is also the subject man ad moitzei yom tova achra, shulchag, right? All these are also until last night, until after yom tov is over. That's when you can go ahead and take from the stuff that was used to decorate your sukkah. And if he makes it tonight, I'm going to use it before. Then he could do it. So you see over here, this tonight does work. Yeah, so how, that's, that's more of a noise. Right. Uh, so so you want to say over here is a noise. Um if he trial, because Tony also is stopping my hand, shramina, but little gabi suka. But I have a little sukkah for coming tonight, Mahani. Right. So so it says over there, really that's usur, but if you make condition as mutter, yeah. right? So it sounds like it was usur just like any other part of the goes also, and then your condition does work. But I hear you say you, you want to be mechali between maybe this, but it also says so maybe you want to say that schach wasn't included. I hear. So let's see. So a Bible of the right to buy you. But I'm any by Del Mayhem Kobe and Ashmashas, the low Chala Kedusha Lai. We're talking about a case over here where he says, you know what? I'm not refraining, right? From, uh, from uh, you know, the, the, the Kedusha's on it, right? Uh, I'm not serving myself during the Benish Mashas, and therefore I'm still using the entire Benish Mashas. So therefore, at this point in time, it's not Muksi yet because I'm still using it. So therefore, it doesn't it doesn't have to it doesn't become Kaddish. All right, and therefore, Aval Atzi Sukkah, the Chal Kedusha But when it comes to the wood of the Sukkah itself, right, when that was by the decoration, something to Alan's uh, uh, terrace, right. But over here, but when the Sukkah itself, Aval Atzi Sukkah, the Chal Kedusha Layo, he's Kaddish the Shiva. Then for all seven days. Uh, there would be that it would be most right. So basically, like you're saying, I completely forgot the the terrace, right? So the terrace was, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So uh, so the terrace is right. Basically, what Alan was saying that now seven days, and I was, I'm gonna still use those up until the minute Benish Mashus is over. Benish Mashus obviously never really becomes usher. Right. So therefore, I can go ahead and use it. That's my condition, right? But the other stuff that I'm sort of stuck because that is part of the mitzvah. The guy says, "What's the difference between this?" Dietzmar, we learned it was taught. He for shiva srogan the shiva say yamam person buys right seven srogan for seven days right very nice. Amar Rav kol achas viachas yitziba ba'echol alto says Rav you can go ahead and use it for the midst of that day and then you can eat it immediately afterwards right because now you're you're designated each one just to use for the mitzvah. And Ravasi Omar kol achas yitziba. The Eichel Machar. Each one, you're, you you fulfill your obligation. Then you eat it the next day. So once you eat it right away, now you eat it the next day. But none of them hold. It's the mitzvah for seven days. So why is that? Why is that different than Sukkah? Yeah. Right? Sukkah is mitzvah for seven days. You can't use it all the seven days. So why is uh, why is the Esther getting different? Okay, right. That, that's true. So the guard says uh, it gives different. There's Hasam the Mivsikul Leilos Miyam. Over there in the case. By the estrog, so, so the night is not the zman of the tzuras lulo. So therefore, it's a separation, right? You, the night of the day is kol chad v'chad yom mitzvah rabbi nafshayu. Each day is really its own mitzvah. However, hachavah the sukkah lemitzvah lelo miyam. Over here, when the sukkah does not is going the long mitzvah, kulo yom kechad arich v'dami. All is like one long day, and therefore, uh, I remains muksa during that entire entire period of time, which is that one day. All right, shkayach everybody, we'll stop here. We will uh, continue from here.